This is another of my pipe smoking videos. Now there may be some confusion because I have another channel and perhaps people are subscribed to both. So when this pops up, people go, hang on a minute, this has got nothing to do with your other channel. They're used to seeing me talking about problems of the world, as it were. So this is uh, my old Vogue show channel. And I've enjoyed making these pipe smoking videos. I enjoy watching other pipe smoking videos on YouTube. I know that sounds uh, most weird, but having got into this, I've been smoking my pipes now for about a year. Um, after a 30 year gap, I tried when I was in my thirties. I think I explained that once before. So um, these are kind of once a week. And when the weather is nicer, um, I did think it would be quite fun to go out into different locations to find a beautiful location and smoke a pipe. Uh, and I'm, as my background has been in uh, filmmaking, I, I enjoy setting up the camera and setting up the lights and making everything look as nice as I can within the limited field of my two up, two down house. Now today, my theme is what do you do if you're a pipe smoker, when you come to the end of whatever uh, tobacco that you're smoking. It, sometimes there's not enough for a bowl full or it's got a bit dry and you don't know what to do with it or um, it's just it's uninspiring anymore. And so what I've been doing is I have a little pouch and I just put them into the pouch and so in the end I've got a blend of goodness knows what and people might I'm sure experienced pipe smokers will be going, oh my God, you can't do that, that is sacrilege. Well, maybe it is, but I don't want to waste it. So I mix it all together. If it's too dry, I might put a little tiny piece of apple or a, um, I don't know, cucumber or something overnight just to sort of moisten it all up. One of the things I watched a chap who had some old tobacco and he immersed it in whiskey and I thought that would be quite good, although my small ends don't um, last very long because uh, I'll put them all in a pouch and then I'll get round to smoking them. So I'm going to load up my pipe now and I'm going to see what it's like. I was given a number of pipes and I mentioned those in previous video. And I have smoked one of them once before. Um, and I'm going to smoke it again because I actually enjoyed it. Now this pipe is made in London. It's half clay. It's got a metal shank on it. And then the stem, which I assume is vulcanite. It's a little wobbly, but it's uh, quite old. And it's called a, it's either called a C crop or a O crop. I can't really tell, but it does feel like it's clay, but it's um, glazed with something. Um, and it's much, uh, when I smoked it, it was much nicer than the other clay pipe I demonstrated last week. I think because the mouthpiece is, is easier to grip. I did enjoy the other clay pipe, but it got very hot. This one, when I last smoked it, didn't get hot. I've also, Andy, who provided those pipes last week, um, he gave me some fascinating little tampers. And again, I don't know if you can see it, maybe I'll managed to get a bigger picture of it. This one's got a figure on, I don't know who it is, but he's got a ruff round his neck and he looks uh, terribly serious, but it's got what looks like a porcelain uh, or clay glazed tamper bit on the bottom so you can tamp it. So I'm going to try that. So with my Peterson's pipe uh, lighter, I shall light the pipe. Uh, something in the mouth. And what I've done here, because I am a bit of a filmmaker, as I said, and I started out with uh, Super 8 many, many years ago, and then did a bit on 16 mil and of course now video, is I like mucking about shaping with the lighting. I'm only using two, two lights. They're very cheap lights, really, on stands. But when smoking, 
it's so important to see the smoke. So if you side light it or slightly backlight it, it looks very impressive. Um, which if you're smoking a pipe and making a video about smoking a pipe, the smoke is the thing, is it not? Of course, when you're sitting relaxing, as I was last night reading, or sometimes just contemplating, just sitting with the fire on, you're tasting the tobaccos, that's the important thing. Now, talking of that, I like the experience of the smoking. I like the taste, the tastes, I'm not, I haven't really yet developed a, a really good palate for it. And I haven't had a chance to, uh, I suppose, taste a myriad of um, tobaccos. I would love to learn um, the taste of individual tobaccos, like Virginia on its own, Perique on its own, um, and so on, and, and know what each one tastes like, and then try my hand at blending my own. I'd love to grow some. So you'd have to pay the bloody tax on it all, all the time, because it's so expensive here in the UK, particularly so. You've got tax on the tobacco and then you've got value added tax. I don't know what the value that adds to the tax other than I understand the money goes to the Vatican, hence VAT. But anyway, I am um, quite like this little pipe. It's, it's, um, it's quite nice because it's a throwback to those ploughmen on the fields, the craftsmen in their workshops. And talking of that, I've been watching one particular channel, which I think is worthy of looking at. Here's a chap, I think his name's Chris, and he's in France somewhere in this tumble down uh, studio or barn, I guess, that he's, he, and he's a pipe maker. And he reminds me of my youngest son, actually, in many ways, physically. Uh, and, um, he makes these exquisite pipes. He's very passionate. He's a young chap. I don't know what he is, perhaps 30-ish. But um, it's great to see. Mm. It's very nice, even though they are just um, the ends of the tins, as it were. It is very nice. <laughs> it's, it's, it's very beautiful. Um, and I love the swirling smoke. I think the smoke is in and of itself delightful. It's very beautiful. So I shall leave a description, I will leave a link in the description to this chap, Chris. His, his, his pipe, I mean, they're a bit out of my um, threshold at the moment because they are bespoke and they're beautifully made, but you never know. One day, he does work to commission and he has a few that he puts up on his website. They seem to go very quickly. Yeah. It's a nice... It's a nice little pipe. And this one isn't warming up too much, even though I'm giving it a good pump so that you get to see the smoke. I perhaps wouldn't ordinarily smoke quite so vivaciously. But there you go. I'd be interested what other people do with their odds and bit, bits. Do they put them together? And maybe the next thing would be to gather those together and soak them in something for uh, 24 hours or something and press them down into a, into a cake and then, you know, revitalize it and put it into a pipe and smoke it. I saw another chap do that. Um, on uh, YouTube and I thought that was very good. It's quite nice to do something just a little different, isn't it? Rather than just buy the tobacco, smoke the tobacco, boom. It's quite nice to play around with it and experiment and explore. So in my downtime, in between reading and working on uh, various projects that I do, it's um, it will be fun to experiment with um, different types of uh, tobacco and what you can do with it. And one thing, somebody has sent me some herbs. 
and apparently you can smoke these herbs, organic herbs, and I don't know if people do that, have tried that. What's that like? That's going to be my next, um, my next little test. Hmm. There is something I find very soothing and um, relaxing, not only smoking it, but watching others smoke a pipe, enjoying something. Cigarettes seems to be a, um, a, a oh, you know, a stressful, um, not, not a pleasurable experience. You see people with cigars, they seem to be enjoying themselves. And, and with pipe smokers, they seem to, they are enjoying themselves, but they're, it's a very cerebral experience, I think. Concentrated on something you're working on or concentrated on a thought or reasoning something out in your mind or, or reading a book. That's how I see pipe smoking and it, um, it suits me very much. Thank you for watching.